So we're first going to start with a primer. This is one of my great favorite primers. It's by uh, Chanel. Sorry for the expensive products, you guys, but these are just really ones that I know are fail safe and really work. Um, so we're going to start with the primer, and we're just going to use a little bit of primer. You don't need a lot. We're just going to go in the center of her face, and her skin is already prepped and primed with moisturizer and all that good stuff. So we're just going to take this primer underneath the eye, down the nose, and on the cheeks. And on the chin. And this is especially important to use a primer if somebody has oily skin too. So if somebody has severely dry skin, primer might be something that you can forego, but somebody that has oily skin or normal to oily or normal to dry, you definitely want to start with a light primer. All right, now that we have the primer on, we're going to start with two color foundations. I'm going to start with the um, Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation, and I'm actually going to pick one shade that I know matches her neck and chin. So Laurel's neck is a little bit lighter than her face, so we want to make sure that the neck and chest match the face. So. When you know that something blends into your neck and into your chest, that's the right foundation for you. Remember that. So we're just going to take a little bit of this foundation. You can put it onto a foundation brush, or you can put it onto a sponge, or with your finger, kind of whatever you want. I'm going to use this sponge because Laurel has amazing skin, so we don't need to cover that up too much. But we are going to apply it with a damp sponge. And we're just going to start in the center of the face. It's really important to start in this section because we don't want to start all the way up here because sometimes, or for the most part, people don't need a lot of foundation unless they have a lot of skin concerns. And that way you'll just build up foundation if they do have a lot of skin concerns. So you can see already that her forehead is already beautifully covered, but yet you can still see skin through it, which is so popular right now on all the red carpets and in magazines. I'm just using this tapping motion with my beauty blender, back and forth, making sure to get around the nose, under the eyes. And a lot of people ask me, well, do I start with my concealer first? Do I start with my correctors first? If you need a corrector, go ahead and start with that first. Like if you have rosacea or something like that, you can start with a green primer. But um, I usually try to get the face one color to start with, and then you can go in with your concealers and all sorts of other good stuff like that. And you're going to go over the eyelids just lightly. Again, we're trying to make everything one even nice color. And again, you can see I'm bringing it down onto the neck just to blend everything together. And I like to actually blend a little bit into the ears. You don't have to do that, but I do that for a lot of my red carpet clients, just so everything is perfectly matched. And there is a beautiful first step coverage for foundation. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of corrector for under the eye. She does have a little bit of darkness under the eye, which most people do. I'm taking, this is by Benefit, it's called Erase Paste. You guys have seen me use this several times. And I'm just gonna dab it where she needs it. I'm not gonna bring it all the way out. Just dabbing it right where she needs it. And this is my Real Techniques brush. Um, and this is a deluxe crease brush. And for her, I'm also going to bring it underneath the bottom lash line just ever so slightly to kind of counteract the red that most people have underneath the eye. And then I'm going to wipe the excess off my brush on a towel or on the back of your hand, whichever you prefer, and then start to blend. This is my favorite brush for this because it's so fluffy and doesn't move the foundation underneath. And I'm using a really light pressure. And you know, if you guys have watched my brush video, these brushes are vegan, cruelty free. We love that. So you can already see that that darkness has already been counteracted. I'm gonna go with a little bit of concealer. This one is also by Chanel, it's number 10. Going in with that same brush, and I'm just gonna pat this on top of where we just applied the corrector, and I am gonna bring it outside to the end of the eye and in a triangle shape right here by the side of her nose. And just blending that out. And you can use your beauty blender, you can use your finger, whatever you kind of want to do. Just make sure that your hands are really nice and clean. And we're going to apply a little bit, a little bit to the brow bone, 
I'm going to do it kind of a thickly so you can see here and a little bit above the eyebrow and you can see that that really shapes the brow space and then you can just go ahead and start to blend that in. You don't want to get it on the hairs of the brows. You just want to put it into these areas. Just again to highlight, to lift, and to define these areas a little bit more. And then for the contour, we're going to go ahead and take um, this Crepe Cream Bronzer by Chanel. And it is Soleil Tan de Chanel. Very, very fancy. Sorry, I totally butchered these names. Uh, but it's Bronze Universal. And we're just going to take a little bit. You're going to see that a little bit goes a long way of this product. And this bronzer is great for almost every single skin type except for super, super dark skin tones. And we're going to start right here by the ear. And we're just going to contour this section right here. And I like this product because it works with the foundation. It doesn't move anything. It works with it. And you can see I'm doing this in these tapping motions. This is an It Cosmetics brush, and it's just a little, oh, sorry. It's a little bit of a, a slant to it. And this is just gonna be tapped kind of right here around the eye and in this contour socket of her cheek. And it's just very slightly, you can see the difference between the two sides of her face. One that's not contoured and one that is, she looks like she has a lot more life in this side of her skin. So again, one more time, I'm gonna turn a little bit this way for me. Right in here, the socket of the cheek, in tapping motion so it doesn't move the foundation, a little bit around the brow, and a little bit down along the jawline. And we don't wanna bring this any farther, let me look straight ahead. You don't wanna bring this any farther than right where your cheekbone starts. So this is her apple of her cheek, smile for them. It's her apple of her cheek, so the bronzer does not belong here. It stops right about here. So I'm gonna take two different powder colors, and they're both by Chanel, and I'm just gently going to tap it in here. We don't wanna to put too much powder on the skin. We just wanna tap this kind of around the outside of the skin to just set all of what we've just done. Don't forget to do the eyes, a little bit into the nose. And this is just going to take down a little bit of the shine. And you can take a lighter color and set underneath the eyes. You can do this with a loose powder, which is totally fine, or just a light dusting of a pressed powder is cool too. Just depends on your taste. This is just a little bit underneath the eye. All right, perfect. So there is a perfect foundation routine and her face is prepped and ready to go for any kind of eyeshadow or lipstick that you might want to start with or lashes or whatever you kind of want to start with. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys want any other pro series tips and tricks, what you guys are looking for, what you guys are running into on your day-to-day -day basis. Thanks so much, you guys.